We are here, we are here, we are here. On this amazing day. Okay everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis, and we are marking up CHF, JPY. We are on the 12 month time frame. Price action, last candle to the right hand side is a bearish red candle. We do have price action. Overall, higher highs. Price action. Overall, lower lows. Midpoint. Also adding second level highs, third level highs, and fourth level highs. Current price is sitting at 139.350. So if price work is way up, it can head up to the next resistance line at 150.8. 827 before tagging that area can tag that midpoint nearing the numbers of 145.673 if price drops down it can tag the next support line at 127.768 before tagging the midpoint of 134.008 so let's take a look at what's going on in the market so as I said before, price action, last candle in the market, bearish red candle, spike up to the high. So it may be a reversal for that market dropping down, or it can may be identifying as a retest that market could be pushing up. So if that market pushes up, we can see that the market did start off near second level lows, spiked up to a high, came back to retest. So that's that formation of the first leg of the overall First, second, third, fourth, retest, market pushed up. So market's coming from a double bottom and a retest. So we have first, second, third, fourth, retest one, retest two. And we can see that price action is retesting. We don't know how far that retest is gonna drop down. It can just tag that support line where it's currently at and work its way up for the third push. If not, then market can start drawing itself down through the support lines until it stops at an area and work its way up. If market does drop down, market will be identifying as one area here to that high and the first area here to that high. So overall market start off as a low, spiked up to a high. So we have that first leg, second leg, third leg. And if the market drops down, it's coming down from that double top. And within that area, we do have a double top as well. So we have that first, second, third, and market still can close out and create that formation of that M pattern near price action. Or that market can consolidate within that second to last candle to the towards that top side or that bottom side until that market forms a pattern that market breaks out. Walking down to the six month time frame price action, six month time frame reading as a bearish red candle spike up to the high. Second last candle, bearish doji cross. So that's market is consolidating. So we are we looking for a breakout to the top side of the second last candle or to the bottom side of the second last candle. Anything within that area will be consolidation. So that market is reading with the third last candle spike up to the high. Second last candle. Um, consolidated sideways price action came back to retest so it's a break and retest in that area working our way to the three month time frame heading over to price price acting three month time frame reading as a bearish red candle uh second to last candle broke third oh excuse me Fourth the last candle broke, second the last candle came back to retest, consolidated sideways, and then price action worked its way down. So what's happening in that area is basically a break and retest overall, but it is reading as two pushes to that top. So we have 
uh, first leg push, second leg push, so it's a double top, and then price action will be a retest. So as we walk down the time frame, it can be looking like an M structure, that double top retest and market push down. Price action is a spike up to the high, so it's retesting the midpoint. That's why we see the double top and retest. Working our way to the monthly, monthly time frame, bearish red candle spike up to the high so it's retesting the previous second to last candle to market same as the second last candle is retesting the third and fourth and maybe some of the fifth to last candle to market as well so we can see that double top that was formed so when that market did identify the break and retest it is identifying that first second third and we can see that market is working its way down so market right now is at the support so we are looking for the full break the retest and for that market to push down further as we walk down the time frame unless market consolidates sideways or it can identify a break retest push retest and then push up off this area here and we'll see that w formation for that first second third and we're looking for the engulfment with a bullish green candle towards price action market creates that w formation walking down to the weekly price action on a weekly time frame reading as a bearish red candle so market did a full break and retest return back to um, the support line after it broke it so price and second is side by side with one another so that market is consolidating so we're looking for the breakout to the top side that second last candle or to the bottom side we can see price is sitting inside that area working our way down to the daily daily time frame price action bearish red candle so if it if it if it respects this area of support here, then we'll see that formation of that first, second, third, and we look for an engulfment towards the price action candle. We'll see that W, and then we're looking for the break and retest for that market to push up further. If that market does break, we're looking for, and we'll talk about down the four-hour time frame. If that market does break, and we are on the four-hour time frame, so let's add our zone before we talk about what pattern is forming if that market does break creating a zone on the SR line a little bit above a little bit below so let's take a look at what's happening so we can see that on the previous side market identified the break and retest so we have that first second third fourth market pushed up to a high came back to retest with the left side of price being a spike down for that third leg market pushed up and now spike is spiked down for that fourth leg and if it's respected we'll see that w formation in that area altogether four pushes down towards that bottom adding the other two on the opposite side but if that market pushes through and breaks then we're looking for that market to identify let's create show you guys these levels so remember, there's a midpoint in this area here. So, and when you actually saw where market's coming from, it's coming from the high of that first, second, third, fourth, double top, retest one, retest two, and market breaks the SR line, I mean the zone in the SR line. So we're looking for a retest for that market to push down further. But you remember, market has is inside that zone, so it can consolidate as it did on the opposite side before it breaks down or break back up. Walking down to the three hour time frame, price action on a three hour time frame, it's reading as a bearish red candle. It's currently look like it's breaking uh, price action bullish green candle, not a bearish red candle. So what's happening is that the second last candle broke the SR line, price action came back to return, so it's a break and retest. If it follows up with a bearish red candle, you'll see that market push. If it engulfs that second last candle, if not, then that market could be creating some momentum of a pattern to try to work its way up. But if it does, you're still looking for price to break above the second last candle, maybe some of that third last candle, which create get you back to second level highs of that zone. And then you're looking for that break and retest to see if that market creates that W formation. Very important information. Please review and study Forex pattern cheat sheet break on retest strategy. Click on images. Okay, guys, this is Cam Jones, FX, CHF. J-P-Y.